Hi, and welcome to Mastering Eduax Gateway Agency Lite CRM, which is simple yet powerful. I will show you how simple it is, and I will also show you how powerful it is. I have some topics to cover like getting started, client management, application management, and seeking help in settings. The list look long, but I will try to make it as short as possible. Stay with me. To get started, go to our website, eduxgateway.com, in a browser of your choice. The website content and layout may change over time, but you will still be able to locate a login button. If you press this, it will take you to a login landing page. So you put your username and password, and if you do not have it, please contact our sales team. Edwax Gateway Agency Light CRM is by invitation only. Only the lucky ones get it. Don't worry, you talk to our sales team and we will make you the lucky one too. After all, they have their weak you know, KPIs and quotas to meet as well. So they will be more than happy to provide you the credentials. Okay, let's go next. I have typed in my credentials and don't worry, that email is not real. Once you sign in, you go to a dashboard, which is very simple. Like I said before, total clients, open a clients, total application, open application, client list, application list. On the left side, you have this sidebar which you can toggle and on the right side you have notification bell and place where you can see your profile change it to a dark mode if you are a techie person or a light mode i have never liked dark mode until now and then log out that's pretty much it let's explore the menu items first let's start with client once you go to the client from the sidebar, you will be able to see the list of all of your clients. They are put into various tabs for easier navigations. So new means fresh, new. Nothing has been done with them. In progress, we are nurturing them. We are doing something with them. We draw, they, clients have decided not to work, you know, proceed further for whatever reason. Terminated, we have decided not to proceed with the clients because they are not qualified maybe. Completed is the list of all the clients for which the process is complete. Good ones. And then all are clients where you can see from every status. And then inactive ones are the ones which we have inactivated because maybe they were duplicates. In this row, you can find various ways to filter by responsible, filter yours, branch, search, and do some advanced filtering. Also at the top, you can see client tracker where you can track all the clients which are overdue for a long time. There, an action had to be taken, nothing was taken. So please, in real life, don't make them wait for this many 17,000 days. Also, you can go to this tab where you can see all the clients which are still open. Something has to be done, but nothing has been done from last five days. It's a cause of concerns and you can take actions on them. Okay, let's head back to a particular client and look at their details. Let's go to this. A client detail interface looks like this. There is a path at the top and there is a place where you can put notes. I have already put some notes. Please put some better notes than this is a note. So let's say for example, we have called them and you know, we reached out to them, but they want to be called again. Curl and then client requested to talk next week usually that's what happens so you can put so client if you want the update to be seen by the client in their portal as well otherwise it was about a call and it is to call next week so let me put a next action item for the next week okay this is done now add so yeah so the next will be study options so i'll be working on this so i'll change the path status to study options so the idea there is you record a client interaction in note you change the path and keep on repeating it until it reaches one of these status like this lost there's no more anything to do disqualified no more anything to do or completed and you have progressed them into the next stage now let's explore this too many other tabs attributes first these are attributes are characteristics of your client. It could be about their age. It could be about their academic score, how good they are. 
it could be about how many one since when was their last education qualification how many years have passed that uh, it could be about a specific subject there's a whole whole heaps of things it could be about their english scores and so on and these attributes are the features of our clients that the colleges will be looking for when making a decision whether to offer them or not so by putting in an attribute now you can you will be able to search all the programs where our client is going to be accepted and this saves you a lot of time and frustrations because often what happens is you send an application do all the paperwork and then the college comes back saying no we don't want clients like this we want a different kind of clients so by putting in an attributes and the smart matching you will be able to find the right program for all of your clients to add an attribute it's very easy go and edit the particular attribute which you want and provide the value that's all okay more tabs here you can record educations here you can record all of their employment history here you can record all of their exams like GRE, GMAT, IELTS, PT and so on and here you can record all of their documents like passport, resumes, diplomas and other things and you can even put a document request individually or you can apply a whole checklist so usually we are tend to ask the same kind of five documents from most of our clients to start with so i have created here a checklist and i can apply the whole entire checklist over here and that's what i have done before so i'm not going to do it again and that has brought me all these documents already from the checklist that saves you time now my client already has two courses which are the favorite courses and i can actually search for more courses for them okay let me search a course for them my client wants to go to australia to study nursing so i'm looking for some additional university okay so nursing it has to be a nursing at the master's level actually i could also select the the level from from here you know you can put here at the master's degree and let's do a search again and now i get all the master's level qualifications okay so this one i'll also put it to a favorite for my client since i am sourcing it from the client's profile so the system already knows that it has to add to this particular client's favorite so that's all done now let's look at their favorite list okay so here we go to all of our clients and look and find our client so this is our client and now i will go to their favorite courses previously there was two now there are three so what i'll do is i will try to put this course at the top oh no i'll put them in the middle and i want probably to put this course at the top okay so this is already done and i want to include all of them and generate an study option okay now this gives me something which i can print and give it to them this gives me something which i can send them through an email and it's for something to think about and make a decision okay i have given my clients two study options and asked them to make up their mind and my client has decided to go with fsw sydney university and study bachelors of nursing okay so i will put this to my clients preferred course and location is australia intake is let's say july intake and that's all so now i can record that my, i have to apply my clients to this particular course let's make the application you can make an application through a number of ways you can go to your favorite course and do hit a quick apply and that will create an application otherwise you can also go to the main application page here and then you can also apply from here through a new applications alternatively you can also go in here and search for the same program let me do that nursing and location would be australia 
I'll include this and our university was FSW University and I will find that program the bachelors of nursing and I'll do a quick apply and I'll apply to my client yes client and apply and this has now created an application for a particular client okay let's explore what does the application say mandatory document not yet provided please provide the requested document so application is half complete now we need to look into the steps and say okay the college requires two forms that needs to be submitted and the college also required these three documents which we need to now provide let's start with the forms for the forms you can go in here to view the form and you can get a submission link which you can provide to your client or you can fill this yourself okay we have provided it to a client and let's say they have clicked this here so let me quickly fill this form I'll take the easiest one and I agree so now this form is filled and let's head back to our application and if we go in here now we need to complete this form as well let's get that out of the way as well again for every form which college requires there is always a submission link which you can copy and which you can send to the client or submit it yourself if you already have that information so let's provide some information here as well these are dummy forms so they are so simple in real life the forms would be a little bit more longer okay now we have done that as well if we refresh our application let's see what do we get we have seen that both of these forms are now submitted okay now let's do documents there are some documents to provide to provide the documents it's very easy you can do this and upload the documents okay I have now provided all the documents so the clients documents are complete the forms are submitted and you can see here now it is already 100% and the system is asking me to review and submit so once I click that the system says okay everything is has a green tick that means it's all good all the mandatory information has been provided system still asks me to check one more time if our client is eligible and it runs through all the our clients attribute that we put earlier and the college's requirement of the same attribute and our client has met all of them so it asked me to declare and then we can now send an application to the college to send an application to the college we can choose college direct if you have a direct partnership with that particular college if you do not have a direct partnership sending through edux gateway you can select the global agency and select edux gateway if you are sending it not through the edux gateway but another agency a b2b provider of your choice then you can send them through there as well which you have listed in your partnerships or your administrators have listed either way let's go for a very simple global agency edux gateway for now and once you submit okay now the application has been submitted please note if the college uses edux gateway portal then the application will automatically be delivered to the college if the college do not use edux gateway portal then this is just a record of your submissions you will need to download all the documents and send them to the college so what this has done now is it has created an application and since we submitted it to edux gateway um, this is a copy of the application on the other side so edux gateway has received your applications and they have not yet put any due dates or anything like that and they are all here they have not provided us any notes forms or documents to submit all of them are blank and the, these are all the documents which we have submitted to them and there are no more requests at this stage if there are any other request you will all see them here and when this application 
uh, is looked after by anybody in the eduax gateway then they will start allocating a responsible person and you will be able to see their card in terms of who is processing your applications and you will be able to contact them okay so if you would like to follow up on the applications with eduax gateways team you can go to the notes and you can put a note and the note can be to provide an update to your uh, to your client or note could be you know checking with eduax gateway when will this be processed and then the team over there will be able to see those notes so whatever you see here it has a flag now here that soon to eduax gateway demo account as well the other side of the partnership so you can do this note to request follow-up but the, if the issues get really serious and sometimes they get, re get really serious then you can seek support through partnership issues it could be about refunds it could be about delayed processing it should be some complicated stuff then you can always go to partnerships and you can raise an issue and by doing that you will be able to uh, you will be able to you know issue create a ticket which will be looked after and the support will be provided to you since we this is an issue where we want to seek help from eduax gateway so we'll go an external issue and choose that particular account and put all these details and create an issue okay now let's write it in a description i know you will write a good description but let me write here something okay we need to fill this date okay yeah i need this resolution by i need it now but i'll be more practical and give them a week to resolve it so now the issue has been created edux gateway team has been alerted and those team will respond in a timely manner and you will see all of their responses plus you can add your own responses as well and that's what you do to seek support on your applications so you have other ways as well of course you can always reach out to those very helpful sales team members as well who onboarded you and they will be able to provide you support as well now finally let's go to the settings this is where you do all the wonderful things of you know adding extra users to your account um, where you can see your plans of course most of the systems are provided free for up to 10 users so you don't need to worry you can set up your branches over here you can set up a whole bunch of your preferences like your logos and colors and other things so that the system could look more like um, your branded system similarly you can define all of your list from here and customize them to your requirement one size cannot fit everyone so you are allowed to customize it. and also here you can define your agreements which you are going to give to your clients because in your clients you can sometimes send the agreements to them and other other matters as well so this is roughly all about the eduax gateway agency light coming back to the point of simple and powerful you can see it's fairly straightforward create a client create application search quick apply there are not too many things powerful in the sense that you can see if your agent is going to be your your client not agent sorry your client is going to be meeting the requirements of a particular college or not all right this is what i mean so you have done a search for a nursing program for this two university okay let me do nursing as well for australia and you have ordered a search and you can see now here our client is eligible here they meet all the eligibility requirement but if they want to study this program with another university no our client is not eligible because they do not meet the requirement of nationality based requirement sometimes colleges do not want to recruit from every nationality so so you can already see in advance whether our client will be eligible or not and this is where the system is very powerful just by putting in those attributes you can always match them with the right program and hence we have simple to operate yet very powerful thank you for staying with me this long and i wish you the best in your recruitment efforts bye for now